Invite to a you know, D2 school or whatever. Here's the shot on and a great save there. But that's about how many games you've played well, up till this point in the season. Is a huge hit there as a Seattle forward gets dumped right in front of their bench. Game. Nice hit there behind the cage as Seattle will play back on front. Across again. They score! That one. Yeah, for sure. The, uh oh, a turnover here in the middle. A shot comes through and they score! That is Ness as he stole the puck in the high slot, ripped it low on the ice, and blows it past Seattle goaltender Colvin. Show you the videos. I, I, I got a ton of stuff last year. That's amazing. I've gotten some good stuff this year, too. Quick shot comes on and another goal. A blistering wrist shot from Utah Outlier for number 15, Alexander Charon. Utah will move ahead with it now. Coming with it is Matt Bartell. Bartell in across the shot, the goal. <laughs> I'd like to stay one more day and go have some fun. Oh, yeah. back out in front, the shot comes through, and Seattle scores. It's now a five to two game. Things get into every once in a while, which is they'll go control the puck, put up 40 shots. Uh oh, here they come again, and they score. They immediately get the goal back. It's Matt Bartell somehow pops out to the corner. Big check there in front, pops out to the middle again. Another big save by Colvin, and they score. Ness just is able to get it right back in. Nice play to the middle there, back over to Ness. He shoots and scores. It's Ness with another goal. Yeah, that he, team, he's that landed team, in a good spot. That team is ran pretty well. And, uh oh, here they come back the other way, moving on in. A shot comes in, and another goal for Utah. This wow. time it's Mickle, and it's nine to three. There's games per ice sheet and how often we're playing. Four straight here at Sobe as well. And a quick shot comes on and an early goal here. Southern Oregon gets it, it's one nothing. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. There comes Southern Oregon back in. Nice play in the middle pass, comes across Ooh. off the far pad of Soderquist and a great save there. He's able to kick the rebound out to where nobody was. Foster at all. Oh, okay. And he, he, he came here from Oklahoma City. Uh-oh, oh. a breakaway in, a backhand shot saved by Norquist. Ooh. Oh, going flying over the goaltender there was Mustner. And, and it's going to be taken here by the Bobcats. The shot comes through, saved there by Johnson. Loose in the middle, and a diving save by Johnson. It trickles in the net, and the Bobcats score. It's 1-1. I just, I just pointed it out. As a huge hit there in the middle. That was a clean hit. There, here comes Casper back the other direction. Moving on in, here they are. A breakaway, a shot on save. Rebound, it's loose. And somehow, somehow, once again, there behind the net, it's given away by Casper. Taken by Southern Oregon, played back towards the middle. Big save by Norquist, and he'll hang on. They know what they got from their goaltender there. Puck played in the middle, shot comes on there. They score! That's Emery, he breaks the tie finally. We're Native Americans, we saw a couple Japanese players on some of the other teams, but that was a nice dangle and a shot on that went off the back of Sorelli in front of the net. Nice little play there, back out in front, this shot, and a goal! It's Solander who scores. Hey, I didn't steal, it went into the <laughs> spectator area. It's your souvenir. <laughs> nice play back out to the middle, the shot comes on and they score again! It's wow. Landers and it's three to one. The shot's coming here in front of the steamboat net. It's going to be roped around the wall. And trying to poke it out there is Bear, and they score! To the middle. Nice job as they get it on the stick. It'll come into the offensive zone. They're onside on the backhand. Pass comes across, shot on! And no, that stays out. Bo had about three or four opportunities to score. And now here comes Cold Lake back the other way. They score! And that's Smith! And it's a tie game! Cold Lake back the other direction. A long shot. They score! What a shot from Penn! And it's 4-3! Dean Boat as they walk into the offensive zone. Shot to the middle. It comes on. The rebound is loose. They score! And here comes Cold Lake back the other way. They have a two on one with a man coming back. Walking in. The shot. They score! A short handed goal gives Cold Lake a 5 4 lead. Gage will head back towards his bench. Shot comes on back to the side. A big save there. And they score! Ends up throwing a 
counter check there and getting wrecked in the corner. A stretch pass up. Here they come the other way. Trying to dangle to the outside. Nelson, a turnaround try. He hit the left post. Time they are definitely tired. Nice move into the offensive zone. Another shot comes through. They score. Here comes CPJHL back the other way. Nice poke around in on net between the legs. What a goal. What a goal. Unbelievable. He goes between the legs and makes this a 2 0 game. So far, that is the highlight of the showcase. That was amazing. So the CPJHL is still on the power play, or on the penalty kill rather. And another shot through. They score. They score. Cheyenne answers back. It's Cody Keeper. And it's a 2 1 game. They have to come out and play this one. And a smart play by the goaltender. Very and well now played. he stretches the play back the other direction. They have a three on two with a man coming back. Shot comes off block. They score! How did that get through? Excited anticipation. And uh oh, we have a poked away puck. Moving on in. Firing on. Great save there. And he's able to hold on. Team's getting away with a lot as the officials are just getting hounded by the fans. Moving back in, here they come. Nice play there. Uh-oh, moving in the middle, shot comes on. They score! Grinnell and the CPJHL Red Squad wins the game. What a great effort by both sides. You could, I mean, the intensity in that overtime period can't be matched in any regulation seconds. And just a big rebound, and that's the way the Canadian Premier Junior Hockey League was able to finish that off.